black and white, or left and right, conservative and liberals. We're familiar with the process of categorizing everything into binary terms to explain phenomena such as echo chambers and polarization. However, the reality we encounter is often far more intricate. It's not merely about two opposing sides, but a complex interplay of different perspectives. While some studies have drawn attention to the existence of echo chambers in social media, other research has provided counter evidence, indicating instances of heterophilic interactions between contrasting groups. To navigate through this labyrinth of opinion dynamics, a multidimensional approach is necessary. Rather than seeing opinions as mere black or white, we need to consider them as a spectrum of varying shades and hues. We need to acknowledge and embrace the multifaceted nature of opinions. In light of this, we conducted a comprehensive analysis of ideological dimensions among Reddit's political compass users. We categorized these dimensions into economic, left and right, and social, libertarian and authoritarian axis. We examined over a million comments on the subreddits political compass and political compass memes from 2020 to 2022. This helped us to determine users' political inclinations through self-declarations and demographic attributes using unsupervised learning techniques. Our study of the interaction network revealed significant homophily for interactions along the social axis and heterophily along the economic axis. We carried out a comprehensive examination of how demographic characteristics influence social interactions using a logistic regression model. Our results verified that interactions are predominantly homophilic, corresponding to demographic clusters, while not depending on the user's popularity. Furthermore, our findings revealed that heterophilic interactions, if present, are characterized by a higher language toxicity than homophilic ones. This points to a contentious discourse between every opposing ideology. Thank you for your time and attention. I look forward to further discussions at the WebConf 2024 in Singapore.